A man accused of killing a 17-year-old boy heading back home from an Astros game is due in court today. This is Gerald Wayne Williams. He just turned himself into police yesterday. Our Brittany Jeffers is live outside the county courthouse in downtown Houston. Brittany, good morning. Good morning. Well, I can tell you this will all be happening in just a matter of hours. Williams scheduled to be in that courtroom yet again at 9 o'clock this morning. Meanwhile, the victim's father tells us the fact that Williams turned himself in was an answer to his prayers. The man accused of shooting and killing a 17-year-old after an Astros game on July 6th turned himself in yesterday. Gerald Williams is charged with murder and the death of David Castro. Records show that Williams had just gotten out of jail in February of last year after spending more than 12 years in prison for three counts of aggravated robbery with a deadly weapon. Williams was out on parole until October of last year, and now, less than a year later, he's charged with murder. There's no, there are no words in English language, nor should there be, to describe the pain that we're going through right now. For Paul Castro, the heartache continues and the loss surrounding his son. William surrendered peacefully to police yesterday, and community activist Quan LX helped to guide the 34-year-old through his surrender, a move that Castro had been hoping for. The fact that he safely surrendered and did not put any of the community members in jeopardy, none of the police department members in jeopardy, is an answered prayer. Yesterday, Williams went before a judge. His bond set at $350,000. And we do want to mention that prosecutors did not specifically ask that bail not be set for Williams. Instead, they asked that judge give Williams, or excuse me, not be given a personal recognizance bond. Now, that is a decision that the judge granted. Again, he'll be in the courtroom this morning at 9 o'clock. Reporting live in downtown Houston, I'm Brittany Jeffers, KPRC 2 News. Brittany, thank you.